what is a secret, a favorite secret that you have of New York? I'm, I have different secrets in New York. I like uh, very much New York. But, uh, no, I'm here now for the, my shoe show. And I remember um, more or less 15 years ago, bef the day before of my first shoe show exhibition in the Plus Hotel, uh, I used to go there with uh, Anna and Luisa. If, uh, I, I used to go to one restaurant, it was a post house restaurant. And uh, it was uh, an next superstition. Now, every time uh, before one shoe show, I go in this restaurant. I know if the food is good or not, but, I can but it's your tradition. <laughs> but it's my tradition. It's very good anyway. I like to go there and all the time I'm before the shoe show. What is the one thing that you don't leave home without? Is there a special something? Is there, a, uh, you know, is there one thing that you think of every time you leave? I uh, sometimes I, for, I forgot, uh, but I try to have my, with my, my with my with myself the brain <laughs> because uh, sometimes the brain is not connected. I I try to have my brain connected all, all, all the time when when I when I when I work when I when I, I, I go in the morning because I, I used to think always to my words and sometimes I you know. I'm almost artist, I, I forget something and, and or every day when I wake up I, I say, okay, connect, Giuseppe, you need to connect your brain now, it's time. <laughs> what is the uh, one fashion trend, fashion trend I guess, that you hope never to see again? Uh, okay, there are different fashion trends I don't like anymore, but uh, one is in particular, it was uh, um, a lot of the time ago, uh, early 90s, I remember a minimalist Japanese uh, women's shoes. It was 50 millimeter with a rubber with a square last uh, in black, uh, black, 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 black. And you know, I'm more fancy, more glamour, and, and it, I was, uh, I feel very, very bad when I saw a beautiful feminine woman with this disgusting shoes. And, I'd suffer a lot and I hope never, never come back to this kind. Whose closet would you love to raid? I don't know if you, you know. Oh, uh, uh, you know, when you do this work, when you design shoes, uh, you know, you, my, my mission is to have a lot of girls with my shoes. But I think in particular I would like to see the Beyonce closet because uh, I think she has more than two or three hundred pairs of my shoes and it would be nice to to see all my shoes together in uh, also in Beyonce home, why not? We love Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> what uh, is your worst childhood fashion memory? Uh, yeah, I think, uh, okay, when, uh, when I was young, a lot of time ago, I received a gift from my mother. My mother, she was a uh, very important stylist, she believed. <laughs> And they give to uh, a booty with a lace, again 40 millimeter, high booty, but it was horrendous. It's good in English, horrendous. Perfect. It was so. I remember the color also, like a cognac. It was a, a disgusting booties, and for you know because I was so I was so gentle with, with the mother, I used to work with this booty, but uh, I saw all the people see me on, on the feet and uh, uh, it's, uh, it was a bad feeling yeah. for these things. <laughs> well, I want to thank you for joining us. That's it. We'll thank see you. We'll see you on Facebook and thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Good. Um, the next question is, uh, help me just for a second, what is it, what am I? What you don't think home Oh, right, <laughs> right. Um, Fashion, because I like women, family, with a body, with a, you know, sexy. Yeah, sexy. Um,